Hey class. Um, so I'm responding to this week's prompt, which is about listening at school or work. Um, so the first question is, why is listening important when working with a group or a team? Um, it's very important because um, <clears throat> if you had multiple people trying to do the same thing, nothing will be done. Or if everybody is going around not knowing what they're supposed to do, then once again, nothing will get done. So communication and also listening for feedback on like where somebody may need help or where they don't understand, or even if someone has a strength um, and having them play to that strength um, instead of giving them another task where they're weakest at, um, all of these things come to play when you're working in either a group setting for a school project or when you're at work. Um, so it also asks to describe a time where um, we had to work with a team. Um, so that happens all the time, right? In school, we got group projects that we have to do. Um, but I think I'm going to go ahead and share a story from actually work. Um, so for me, when I'm in charge of a patient and I need to go ahead and get them ready for anesthesia, um, I need to make sure that the doctor's already done the examination beforehand, that we've checked blood work, that, um, you know, the patient's on their way, if there's any allergies, if there's certain, um, you know, things that we need to be respectful of, like they have a heart issue, um, so we can't use certain drugs for the anesthesia. Um, and in terms of even when you're having a patient go down with anesthesia, um, you are working in a team because, right? Somebody is making sure that that IV line is patent and good, that the drugs are okay, that the patient's actually doing okay, their heart rate is up, their breathing is okay, and all of these things are happening simultaneously. So in this organized chaos, I'd like to call it, um, we are all very in tuned to each other. Um, most of the time when you're in a really good group, and doing something like that, it words don't even need to be said. It can even just be a hand gesture like this, and you know that they need your attention now. Or, um, you know, they'll just tap you, and you kind of already know what they're about to do or what they need that's next to you. So you can grab it without saying anything. Um, but in the case of like an emergency, let's say, um, all of us are trying at a very fast pace with seconds, just like trying to be at the same pace, calling out things and responding to make sure that that person heard you. So if I were to say, I need this stat, someone will respond to me, I've got it. As in, they know that they're on their way to go get it. And I know that they're going to get it because they've told me. So communication is very, <laughs> sorry if my cat, um, is very important. Um, and so some ways that it can go <laughs> wrong is where if someone isn't, say they're new or, you know, they're just having an off day or whatnot, and if they are not communicating back to you, then there's a lot of repeating, like, did you get this? Did you get this? Did this patient get this? And it's seconds that you don't have time to spare. So every communication in that sense at a workplace and a medical environment is very, very, very important. Um, and that is why we work in teams and we even like we'll practice in teams and downtime just to make sure that we're all on the same page so that the patient has the best care. Um, I typically in the most, most scenarios, I do tend to become more of the leader. Um, and I think it's just because I have confidence in, in my voice and therefore a lot of people follow it. Um, at times I will say at work, I love it um, because we get along great and it's a very, you know, hectic but professional setting. Um, I will say though for schoolwork, I absolutely hate it, but I still fall into that line. And the reason I don't like it is because I end up um, doing most of the work. And I'm sure there are many people out there that can relate to that. Um, I guess a scenario of that, and I'm sure I'm gonna go over my time now, is <laughs> that um, we had a group project and I 
actually emailed the person ahead of time um, a couple of days to let them know that, hey, like this week you're in charge of this topic, just letting you know that, you know, it's coming up due. And that person messaged me back and said, yeah, oh, thank you so much. I totally forgot. And I was like, don't worry, you still have time. It was probably a Sunday night and the project was due on a Thursday. So the way that we split it up in our group is each person had a topic because um, it was throughout the whole entire quarter and each of us had to do a presentation on it. So one person would do the whole presentation and then split it up to, for the rest of the people to just go ahead and present via Zoom. Well, now comes Thursday or Wednesday night and normally, right, so they would send it out the PowerPoint to be like, hey, this is, I want you to look over this because this is what you're in charge of. Well, we never got that. So Thursday morning comes and we ask that person, where is, hey, where is the um, PowerPoint? And they said they didn't do it <laughs> Thursday during class, right when class period started. So we're due to present this in 30 minutes. Now this person is scrambling around asking me to help them during mind you, class time. And so now I'm not learning what I need to learn and I'm helping this person to get, because they had no idea what even the outline was, even though we'd been doing it for the whole quarter, imagine that. And so as that ended, he did not complete the presentation completely. He just grabbed information from random places and gave it to us to go ahead and present. Luckily, we didn't have to present it that day. And yeah, that kind of went down that way. So communication, it's a two-way street, definitely. And it's always important to learn from everybody and to have communication and listen. Well, I look forward to hearing everyone's stories. See you guys around.